25-year-old Joseph Newgarden is one of IndyCar's young guns and this year drives the number 21 for the newly reformed Ed Carpenter Racing Team after a breakthrough season in 2015. And Joseph Newgarden has won the second race of his career and the second race of this season. 2015 it was, uh, it was a great year for me. Uh, it was my fourth year in IndyCar and you know, as a young guy in the sport, I've been working really hard to try and you know, always improve, but you know, figure out ways, you know, how, how are we gonna win? And each year it got better. You know, last year was, was really the first year that we, we could seal the deal. We got the first victory, and then we got a second one, which was great, and we even contended for, for more. Going into 2016, I think we can contend for the championship, um, and that's where you wanna be. A native of Tennessee, New Garden first drove a car to age 13. He moved into European open wheel racing, including a season in GP3, but his breakthrough came in 2011 when he returned to the US to race in Indy Lights. When you're a young guy, you really wanna achieve something in the junior ranks, and I'd always found success in the junior levels, and, and really the kind of cap it all off when I ran Indy Lights in, in 2011. That was really the springboard series into IndyCar. That was really a huge deal. I think you know everything up to that point was, was a big deal in getting to me where I was, but Indy Lights was kind of that last layer that needed to happen, that, that last achievement that was gonna springboard you into the professional levels. Although not one of the big guns on the 2016 grid, Newgarden stays with a team that has provided him with the tools to succeed so far. Now under the Ed Carpenter Racing banner, it's an environment where he feels at home. I've been lucky that over my first four years in IndyCar racing, I've had consistency with a lot of the guys I work with. And that really makes it easier to keep progressing. You know, each year you learn a little bit more, you just kind of add to a, a base layer of knowledge. And for me, that's made a big difference. And going forward, I'm with kind of a new group. It's, it's a new ownership group but it's, it's owners that I've been with before. Most of the guys that I work with, the engineers, the mechanics, team managers, they're people I've worked with for, for my entire career. Unlike Formula One, smaller teams can still succeed in IndyCar. Parity that provides close racing on the track. Last season, there were 10 different winners of the 16 races. That's the cool thing about IndyCar right now. You have to kind of look at everyone. Penske's always been strong. Uh, team Ganassi's always been strong, and they have you know, drivers that you always look at. Juan Pablo Montoya has been strong over the last year with Penske. Will Power has always been kind of a qualifying ace and, and one of those guys that you, you have to look out for. And then Scott Dixon, he's kind of a legend in, in our sport right now. It's not just gonna be those guys that are successful during a race weekend. There's, there's people that you wouldn't expect to be fast that you know, kind of show up out of nowhere and, and can take a win at, at various tracks. So that's what makes it exciting. It's always changing. Briefly linked with the Haas F1 project, New Garden will doubtless have options in the years ahead. But for now, he is content to ply his trade in IndyCar. Racers are selfish. They, they want to do everything. You know, you want to achieve everything. You want to run every series you can. I'm no different. I'd like to run everything that I could. I'm happy running IndyCar racing. I have a lot of fun doing it. NASCAR to me seems you know, super appealing. Sports car racing, you know, Le Mans would be amazing to run. So there's many forms of racing. Like I said, I'm selfish. I'm a race car driver. I want to, I want to do everything I can.